Uh, hey there, everybody. Welcome in to a new one here. Uh, the uh, new amnesia. Told you I'd be getting to it. Uh, took me a little longer than expected. Uh, I was just caught up doing a bunch of other stuff. Pretty much haven't played any games at all for about a week. So, uh, so at this point, it seems kind of silly to play Outlast, as I was only going to play that as a primer for this. So, uh, subtitles, good. Really, this is gamepad support? Alright, let's go. I'm so not looking forward to this, <laughs> but I also am. It's a long loop. removes himself from the pain of being human, Dr. Samuel Johnson. Is that screen red? It's supposed to be red? Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. It would be a huge bummer if you killed him, Daddy. I really don't think this is supposed to be red, is it? I assume it's supposed to be black. Well, I know. Maybe it is supposed to be red. What the fuck is going on? Is this is Daddy! 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 here for the rest of the game. <laughs> dreams I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. 
It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us, liberated us all. The fetid heart of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. Uh, my temple pounds, the blood boils in my skull. Feels as if there is something alive there. A rat, a damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way up into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? There we go. Shed a little light on the subject, shall we? things up. Oh. Ugh, not that my mouse is way too sensitive. Again, can't pick any of this crap up. Alright. I promise we won't be uh, fiddling with all the controls the entire time. Man, I don't want to have to leave. Some of the spooky stuff happens out there. Oh, it's my... Nope, oh, can't crouch jump. Alright, shift to sprint. Pretty average uh, controls. Daddy, daddy, find us! I'll find you, motherfuckers. What's that? journal. A fever dream. I wake alone to a house in silence. The missing sound of children playing is like a dark in feckin' sepulchre, beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Very odd stride. Like very bouncing up and down. Donk, donk, donk. It's like he's doing a runway walk. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, check out this place. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. What? You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. Twins? I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Maybe the sight of the wine. Mind him of the blood. I'm sure I could pick up something other than furniture. Like those things. I wonder what a machine for pigs is. I assume it's like a small house. No, I want you to go the other way. old ass glasses. Can't tell if those are cracked or what. And why is everyone's dresser locked? That's odd. Again, odd things are afoot here. Let's uh, stay on this floor for now. Check out the bathroom, because bathrooms are never scary. Flush. What kind of game is this? Memories all alone in the moonlight. I don't know any more words. This will be something scary. Papa, Papa, this way. Oh, God damn it. The lights. Whoa, what was that? Is that a ghost ball or a real ball? Haha, <laughs> got it. God, you got a weak arm, dude. I've got a weapon, whoever you are.
a shield. What? Who's in there? What was that? Just really loud music cue. <laughs> Sorry, it switched over to my uh, other monitor. That's when I should get rid of that. So when I can press control, it goes to my other monitor. And there's my ball again. What kind of ball is that anyway? Is that just like an old school soccer ball or something? Note has been added. <sighs> but they slept in the attic when they were babes in arms. And per <laughs> it's like men in arms. Just imagine babies with muskets. Perhaps they have hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it midway between my bedroom and my office. Dusty up there. Oh boy. Whoa! Stupid little fucking brats! Trying to scare me. Wish there was a way to close that behind me. Or at least take some of these nails for protection. <sighs> Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. And he says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work because she wakes us and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with a rolling pin. <laughs> Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it snuffling about. And then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious. But we think he'd been crying again. Alright, so Daddy's into some stupid shit. I'm assuming I'm Daddy. They call me Daddy. Alright, little brats. What's going on? Walking around and creaking. Munchkins. Come on, get out of there, you little fucker. This kind of takes you out of it. Physics puzzles. Well, that's the way I need to go. I'm going to check over here first. I don't want to walk on those because I'm afraid they're going to break. I just know they're going to break one of those. And I'm going to fall through right before I get to where I want to be. We're hiding, Daddy. Well, quit fucking hiding. I am your father. I don't know why we kept you in the attic. It wasn't very nice of us. I'm hiding too, little fuckers. Come and find me. Huh? How about this? Can't find me now. <sighs> All right. I think I'm just gonna crouch for comfort here. Thing in here. 
Does this thing not run out of juice like in the last one? If not, that would be the greatest thing I've heard in quite some time. Oh, the door's gonna slam, isn't it? Oh, there is no door. That's even worse. God, that music is getting fucking annoying. Woo. Do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful departed bills. Uh, no, of course not, my Oh, name. yes, the departed It's my bill. own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the Ministry sent me, that they have concerns. All right, audio logs. You can tell it's a recent game because it's got audio logs. Fucking paintings in here. Oh god! What does that mean? <laughs> oh man. Man, the sound of my own lantern scared me. What? The phone is ringing? Hello? Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. What? This one's open a little bit. Let's open that one. Oh, that's just his drinking drawer. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sigh alone at night and weep. I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children and servants are safely asleep when they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune. That my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My, 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 my rifle. J. The weeping rooms. Where once we sat to weep Lily's passing, under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe. The children must have discovered these secret places and taken refuge there. All right. I guess that's our goal. I suppose we're trying to find our little kitties. For whatever reason, they seem like little brats. And probably dead. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry for the next time I'll get rid of my second monitor so it'll stop doing that. Like that. Alright. You know what? This is a pretty good stopping place anyway. So, uh, we'll just leave it here for now. Uh, trying to find our kids. Or my kids. Dude's kids. 
Um, and apparently they've taken refuge in the weeping rooms. Behind a painting or something. I guess there's secret passageways and whatnot. Because, you know, it's a mansion, so there's got to be secret passageways. Uh, anywho. Also, can I just point out, I think it's weird that I had to go up into the attic from that other place, and then the attic just opened up onto, like, regular floors from before. Why did they only finish half of their attic? Especially when they're keeping their kids sleeping in the part of the attic that's unfinished. But, whatever. Uh, maybe that will get explained. Who knows? Uh, so far not so scary. Just kind of spooky. Um, anyway, we'll keep it going next time. See you then.